Hello friends. Today we are going to look at the odd even queen Sudoku that was part of Sudoku Mahabharat leg 5 which got over on 6th May. This puzzle was designed by Harmit Singh. The rules being the rules of classic Sudoku apply. Additionally, two digits, one odd and one even, will behave like a chess queen. And the queen of each parity will never attack another queen of the same parity. So which basically means that the odd digit that is behaving like a queen will not repeat on any of the diagonals. Similarly, the even queen will not repeat on any of the diagonals. Which digits are the queens are not given to us and it is part of <clears throat> the solving method to identify the digits that are the queen. All right. So let's begin solving. Like I always say, always start any variant like a classic Sudoku. So when we look at it, this is a 6 and a 6, 4, 4, 5, 5, 3, 3, 5, 5. Nothing is straightforward. Oh yes, let's look at column 5. The missing digits are 1, 4, 6 and 7. Uh, we already have 1, 4, 7 in row 1, so this has to be a 6. We already have a 7 and a 4 here, so this has to be a 1, 4 and a 7. So this becomes a 7, this becomes a 6. And for row 5, this is not a 6, this is not a 6, this is not a 6, so this becomes a 6. Clear? So this is a 3, this is a 3, this is a 3, this is a 3, 4. Four. Four. Right? Now, okay, in this box, three nine is not here, so this has to be a pair of three nine. This becomes a two, this becomes a five. So two, two, this is a two, two. So this is a pair of two, three, which basically makes this a four, five. Oh, 5 is there. So, this is a 4, this is a 5, 4, 3, 4, 3. And this will be a 5. Now, let's try to see which digits can be eliminated from the possibility of them being a queen. Let's start off with the even numbers since we have only 4 digits. Now, this 6 and this 6 are in the same diagonal. So we know for sure the 6 can never be the queen. Now 4 in box 4 can be in, has to be in column 1. If it is R4C1, it will be in the same column as the 4 at R1C4. And if it was at R6C1, it would be in the same repeating in the column at R8C3. So irrespective of where the 4 comes in box 4, it will always be repeating on one of the diagonals. Hence, we can safely eliminate 4 also as an option for the queen. That leaves us with the digits 2 and 8. Now, look, let's look at the 8 in box 7. With this 8, it cannot be in column 2, so it has to be in R1, R9C1 or R7C3. Irrespective of where it comes up, it will always be repeating at R5C5. So keeping this in mind, even the 8 is eliminated. So we have our first even queen, which is the digit 2. Now we know the queen cannot attack another queen. That means it cannot repeat on any diagonal. So this 2 cannot be here. This has to be a 3 and a 2. Right? So this 2 cannot be in these 3. It cannot be here because it would again be on the diagonal. So this becomes a 2. Two, two. So this this two cannot be a two here. It cannot be a two here because of the diagonals. So this becomes a two. So the two is eliminated. Two, two, two. This two, two. This becomes a two. So this is 
two, sorry, four, two, two. All right. Then look like we have found all the even queen. So this will be one eight, one eight, three nine, three nine, eight nine. All right. Now let's start looking for the odd queen. Now in the main diagonal we see that one is repeating, so obviously one cannot be the queen. Between box seven and eight we have a three which is diagonally adjacent to each other, so even three cannot be the queen. In between box six and nine we have the fives on the same diagonal, so even the five is eliminated. So that leaves us with seven and nine. Now, in box two, we can have a seven only in row two. Now, if seven were at R two C four, it would be diagonally adjacent, be adjacent to the seven at R three C three. But if it was at R two C six, it would still be on the same diagonal as the seven on R seven. C1. So just like the four, irrespective of where the seven is placed in box two, it will always be repeating on one of the diagonals. Hence, we can safely eliminate seven as an option for the queen. So one, three, five, seven gone. We now know for sure that nine is the queen, so which basically means nine cannot be in this because it would be on the same diagonal. So this is a nine. This is a nine. Nine cannot be in these three. Nine. Nine. Right now, so for this box, can I have a nine here? I can. Can this be a nine? Yes, nine, nine, nine. All right. Then, where else can I have a nine? Now this cannot be a nine because we have this will be on the same diagonal, right? So this nine, nine, nine. This can't be a nine. 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 Now, how do we start eliminating? All right. Let's look at. Column nine. The nine can be only placed in two cells, either at R two C nine or R six C nine. Now, what would be the impact of this? Which is a common cell based on the nine, the queen rules? That would be R four C seven. If nine, the queen was in R six C nine, it would obviously eliminate. The nine from R four C seven because it's in the same box. But if it was in R two C nine, it would be on the same diagonal as R four C eight. So we can safely eliminate the nine option from R four C seven. Now we have three places for nine in box six, which is at R four C eight, R six C eight, and C nine. Now the impact of this being, if nine was in column eight within the box six, it would eliminate the nine from R seven C eight. But if nine was in R six C nine, it would still eliminate the nine from R seven C eight because it would be on the same diagonal. So in box six, irrespective of where the nine is placed, it cannot be in R seven C eight. Hence, this becomes a nine. Uh, this R seven C H is a three, and R seven C seven becomes your nine. So this nine is eliminated. This is eliminated. Now we get a nine here. So which eliminates this, and the only option is nine, six, one. All right. So this has been eliminated, and with this nine here, this has to be an eight, one, eight, nine. Nine, three. This becomes your nine. This becomes your nine. This becomes a five, five, eight, three, 
3 this is a 1 5 1 5 this is a 7 and an 8 so this would be a 3 4 which are the missing digits in column 1 4 so this becomes a 4 this becomes a 4 this becomes a 1 this is a 1 7 8 so we require a 7 and an 8 5 and a 6 so 5 this is a 5 this becomes your 1 1 7 and this was how this puzzle was supposed to be <coughs> solved hope you liked the video if you liked it please like the video share your feedback with us subscribe to our channel and also if you have any request that you wish for us to create a video on do not hesitate to reach out to us till the next time happy solving